Greg and I back, you know, Greg over here, Dave over here. Go off. Ready to go off yeah. for another episode. You know, right. We'd like to start with just reflecting on, you know, we try to make progress. Right. You know, get better every time. You know, be better, do better. Yeah. Know better, do better. So, you know, working with Wu in the studio, you know, today, audio, we trying to get a, a Zoom capability going. Last mm-hmm. week it was the, the live. So constantly just kind of building, putting it together. We appreciate the support we've gotten so far. Absolutely. Uh, All the invite, feedback, definitely. Yeah, yeah, definitely the feedback. Definitely. Keep it coming. I'm trying to appreciate incorporate that, that feedback to make the show better and better each and every get-go. Yep. And uh, like we wanted to be more inclusive, so we're working on uh, getting people involved via Zoom, via live if we get there. Um, and always welcome, you know, in the studio, our undisclosed location, uh, in international <laughs> waters. Um, so properly yeah. secured, yeah, <laughs> properly secured and undisclosed. Yeah. Right. So uh, again, recapping the last time we got you know together, Robin that them save everybody. They got their water. So like, hold up, wait. So Ain't just no for, deal. for the for people, you, for the people who I don't know. Waiting. For it's the early. people who don't it's know, you got to clarify. You. I told you. You got to clarify. No, you you wait, wait, wait. You got to start you from clarify. the beginning. You got to clarify the Robin Dunn piece. clarify and start there. Because some people don't understand who <laughs> Robin Dunn is. So we got to oh. start right there. So, like, just, can we start from the beginning, please? Our commanded chief, esteemed 46th president of the United States, <laughs> saved everybody. Uh cooperating with Democrats and Republicans last week on a huge, horrific, gigantic, best the world has ever seen infrastructure package, which is going to build America back better. Yeah, that's the best. Even though it's not the package that... But we got water. Water is on lockdown. Very well. And internet. It would be on lock. It was the number two priority now. Except Flint. <laughs> but, like, I, it, we mentioned it briefly, but ain't no deal. Ain't no deal. A uh, deal for who? I mean, it's no deal. <laughs> we, he, we, like, we didn't, basically, we didn't waste the whole show. We didn't, we, we didn't discuss the merits of the, the posters or arriving that plan. Um, we gonna work on water, uh, roads and highways. We not gonna be, um, what they call it, slum landlords. Yeah. No more. Cut We're gonna grass, cut our grass yeah. and you know flex, manage fix our the property. Yeah. 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 Um, you know, mop the floors at the VA and whatnot. And you you know, just every 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 old person get they uh, below living wage earning. Mm-hmm. You know, personal person. And you know, we debated you know the merits. You know, political wins for this and party and yeah. that party and. Yeah. You know, how black people fared out. Waste of damn time, basically. Waste of goddamn time. Mm-hmm. Ain't no deal. Um, wasn't not, a deal at the time, not but surprised. if you would have checked at all. with Robin Dutton and put on the, the whitehouse.gov website, you would have thought they had a deal. So um, we didn't get a chance to talk about the crime rates, you know, Robin that coming again with the crime bill. They just snuck that in there on us. Right. Um, but basically, it's about to be a hot summer. You know, them government checks drying up. It's hot. It's already hot, man. Basically, you can you can aim no light bill to man, pay. No, the lights hot. ain't about to work. You got to you got to have cheese. Go to the telly. Dip something, 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 cause the lights go out in the neighborhood. Ain't no old work out something with but energy. I'm still asking that whose lights, don't whose work. lights are gonna go out though? That's man, why. the lights going out is about to be a hot summer. Yeah. These young niggas out here ain't taking it. Hmm. Basically, they ain't taking it. They yeah. getting it all the way how they live. So crime rates going up. Um, and always the solution is. Get more police. Like they just Which was actually part of yeah. Robin Nett's solution. Yeah. So, you know, that's part of the So as a nationwide shortage, cause surprise, surprise, not thousands of people a year want to sign up to be police. All right. 
especially when you just can't kill niggas freely no more. Right. You know, that was what? you know, mm-hmm. that was part of the appeal for a lot, you know, a significant portion. So now that the the light has kinda turned on that, it, it makes the job less attractive for some. So if, the solution if, is to just pay them more. What, if that's what you were pursuing the job for to begin with. Well, yeah. But 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 that but that means you would have to admit that there's a, a, a population that that is the reason. But the why bigger point is why why is that again? We keep doing the same thing. Hey, I mean this this is America, man. Why I mean, do you, you got, think people got history people books to show you that you're gonna keep doing the same thing over and over? Committing man. crime. So rather than get into the whole oh everything you know whatever, that we just you know look, this the Dozier episode. Mm. And, you know, in pre-production meetings, you and I talked, we talked to some other people about it on, you know, production team, potential guests, and tread lightly. I think, I don't think it was a term that came up, but it's definitely a a theme of the conversations Mm -hmm. we had. We still, you know, Live in a society where we gotta we gotta turn it out, have professional aspirations beyond, you know, the goal. So, mm-hmm. but did we we felt like this was an issue that needed to be talked about. Oh, it's in the news. Let me just say it's in the news. Oh, you gotta speak on it. You definitely gotta speak you know, on it. In the news. It's the it's the public will. So, the first thing that struck me is, how did I miss this? The fact that the the bill was in progress, or that there was even a conversation, like for people who don't know what this is, can you speak? I'm, so I'm learning the internets. The you know, I've gotten the decriminalization. I, yeah, speak on it though. Yeah, I've, so, I've been trying to post it all. I don't know how to work that shit. Though. So, so, so Greg, as, cuts, yeah. as as I understand it, uh, a lot of the the criminal penalties associated with like small. Volume possession, simple possession. You now will be issued a summons as opposed to being arrested. If I if I've read enough and understand it properly, that's basically what it boils down to. I thought that was already the shake in the end up, and apparently this the shake now in all of Louisiana. The state, correct. So we, I mean, we we said in a previous show that you know that. New Orleans and Louisiana, are two completely different two, states. Yeah, two completely different That's states. Not the same right? locale. Two completely different but states. All, for so, those who not familiar. Yeah, so you know, so the the way we do things here in the city, you know, it's a it's a it's a little different than the the philosophy and the beliefs and the ideology of the rest of the state. So. But I ain't know nothing about this. Mm. You know, I pay attention to this topic, like I pay attention to, you know national politics and right. education and you know it's one of the All topics right. I keep you know abreast on. I ain't know nothing about this. Yeah. And apparently you know I'm not even gonna speak on my relationship with Times Picayune Advocate No dot com. I basically I don't fuck with y'all. The site is trash. Y'all keep <laughs> throwing up all these ads. You want me to subscribe to a trash site? It's trash. So, so right. actually, look. So, so actually, I think on one of those platforms, trash. I, I read when, uh, like, the first medical dispensary licenses made it into the state, like on a very, very small scale. So it was like, you know, immediately folks were surprised that Louisiana, being such a conservative state, such a conservative yeah. state, even allows something like that to take I place. I remember the, the medicinal debate. Right. And it was, oh, they can't smoke it. So now, recently, they can smoke it now. Right. I remember they passed it. It was only LSU and Southern could grow it. Like, that was the only. That, I, they think was, they, I think they had some link to that it. That was the distro. Agriculture. No, they had some link to it. Like whatever like they did. They were the distro. <laughs> and they had a couple of people. Who was a client. Who was, who was out in the street. <laughs> you could go, you know, go get you an eight. Or, quote, you know. But oh, LSU man. and Southern was they the distro. Was the main, now, the they main, no main. Yeah. They were the distro. Right. Period. <laughs> One, you, and you could not smoke it. Not, and you know, that evolved. But I don't even think that was statewide. That was statewide, yeah. 
for the decriminalization state. No, it was yeah, legal yeah. with the with the with the medicinal. medicinal. But you had to have a card. You, you had, had to have a card. Yeah, 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 right, you, had right. to, you had to have that cancer. Right. But yeah, that, this that, is this is blick, this that, is basically no a small back. level, you know, low yeah, low amount you, you possession. Just, yeah. yeah, you just get a little summons for it. But this. then, but then, and again, I'm just learning. You know, I just got an Instagram account. I just got a Twitter account. Right. Like I said, I be trying to post. I don't know. How yeah, to I'm, work st- it. I'm still fresh I on this one too because this is Louisiana, yeah. so, then, so you know it's. So got to take it with a little grain of salt or two. I'm following people. One right. of the people, I, first of all, Margaret Orr, she posts like she, I don't know, like 19, 20. Like right. she got posts like every five minutes. That's the that's what it's like. That's what she it's for. That's what it's I mean, for. Whatever. She letting them know everything. That's an effective and efficient use of the platform. But. N-O-P-D, I follow them on, t- on Twitter. The same day, the same day, dog, they always, they was on scooting them and after all the radio stations talking about, we're going to get to that later. Doja in Louisiana, basically leave niggas alone. The same day. <laughs> They got the big bus on bourbon, you know, baggy pants, skinny jean, nigga with the edibles, poison in the cheerings, 50 pounds. They got the shit laid out. Pitch. Nigga, that's gummy bears. But wait, wait. That's that's why. That's what wait. people come to. You hating on this man. But, but that's for why. For some shit you that's want. That's the kind of you shit come to burn. that caused decriminalization to fail back in the 70s. Shit like that. There, there are specific prohibitions against edible products having certain forms, being shaped like humans, fruit, animals, to make sure that kids don't. Don't indulge. So that's the whole objective. That's, that's what why they, they do the shit. They can say that shit. That's why they do it. And again, we we'll go off now. We can go off later. So again, part of the, I'm not gonna say part of the feedback. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to have instruction and all. It, uh, look, like I said, entertainment. We don't right. need nobody to coordinate the running and all. We just about to go off. Ain't no script. Follow the agenda. No. So we could go off about why he got slammed. Whether it's the edibles or. All this come down to who make the cheese. So that, so that, and, and 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 I've been hearing how these these some people have been talking about it, how they have talked about it, the language they use around it, and again, I'm ready to go off, but we can take it an issue at a time. And so so my my yeah. biggest my biggest issue is that now the very industry, I guess the the very product, if you want to call it, that caused so many people to be locked up and lose years of productivity and years of connectedness with their family is now a multi-billion dollar industry. Yeah. So so but but it's like how can it how can it be so so profitable for one particular population and the the very same item be the downfall of almost a particular a, a whole generation or two of a particular group. Like that and, and America is like America is celebrating the industry, but not even realizing the, the 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 sheer shittiness of it's cool for y'all, but when all of these people, you know, is is the legislation going to be retroactive? Is it going to apply to people who had you know charges and convictions related to marijuana prior to this legislation passing? So this is, so since it's decriminalized now, can we go back and let some of these other brothers out? Can we give them a chance to reclaim their lives and you know restart their families and give them opportunity? Maybe, maybe they want to join the cannabis industry and make some money legally. Like, can we get them a shot? But that, th- those are the questions that I have that just don't seem to, you know, just don't seem to get answered. Get, hey, man, look, the, in- the industry is making all of that. Man, 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 man they making money See, hand over fist, man. That, but that's what the show for. That's, what money, that's the show for. So we also had a conversation about whether or not Barack was a hoe. That's that was the whole shit that was part of his whole administration, because how he played it. Somebody I know got the and it's a popular picture of him 
I think it was college. He got the hat on. He's smoking the, the doobie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do a little pot, little bud. <laughs> Oh, uh, just roll a J, man. You know, Ken Pill. This shit be funny to them, right? right. Oh, it's the kids, it's a stone. Go get some Doritos and Cheetos. Right. That's how they talk about the shit. Right. That's how they talk about it. Oh, it's something, you know, kids. Oh, I'm relaxing. Oh, oh. But you don't afford, Grandpa, you don't, you don't afford that same, you don't afford that same that. understanding man, to people come behind you, though. Understanding? Man. Yeah, Dave, you know how I feel about that, man. I know. Understand. And, dog, oh, so now we get into the league, and now they're showing, again, true colors, right? And so let's talk about the steps to decriminalization and to legalization. Right. So the comments they make, and, again, the edibles and all this other kind of shit, hit Vegas, I understand. Hit it's, LA. I understand. It's loose out here. Hit no. the shit where it's legal. Yeah, it's loose. And tell me they don't have no the blow pops and the gummy bears and the brownies and the cookies and all that shit. So don't give me that shit about oh the kids and the, I know you about to bring it up. You about to, you got got what do they call it? Uh, the, evidence. Got receipts. <laughs> <laughs> got receipts. So a nigga about to come with that shit again. We not about to hear that shit. Uh, so Greg about to go off about that. So don't come with that. With, dog, they saying, and I heard on the, on the radio, oh, you know, now they grown now, right? I'm grown. Now, you know, if I want to, you know, go, go, you know, make a brownie, go get a brownie or, or do some pie or something like that, I just want to get high, I got to go support a criminal or, or give money to a car, cartel. Bitch, you sound stupid. That's what the you, only that, reason. That's that what you do anyway. The only reason. That's what you do anyway. <laughs> they criminals in cartels and because the shit you like, some other white people made it illegal. You don't feel that way about fucking Anheuser and Bush and Coors and all them motherfuckers or Merck so and I, Pfizer. So, I, but, see, but, but see, my thing is this, man. Like, a lot of the shit that is considered to be, you know, like a hard, you know, restricted, illegal substance, if you just change a molecule and put a little little candy, no, wait, 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 and put a little candy coat on it, it becomes the pharmaceutical industry. So they, it's the the same shit, man. It's the exact, man, it's It's the exact same shit. I get the point you're making. It's the same shit. And what we're trying to get to is, who making the cheese? But that's the point. You can't tax the shit that they send on the street. You can't tax that shit. And off one, and off what structure? Who making the cheese and off, so... If it's the shit that they sell it on the street, the government ain't making no tax off that. And that's a problem. If it's decriminalized, they, that's saying, okay, my understanding, this way I have people, you know, I wish somebody, you call me, correct, text me. You got my, Twitter to me, Instagram, whatever. Let me know the facts. But, like, the decriminalization, that just mean basically leave me alone. Don't ask, don't, don't tell. Paper bag. Outside the liquor store type shit. Well, I'm not yeah, about I, to catch no real time for it. And well, see, I, they're what not I, what looking I, for what it. I don't know if there if there are escalating char or, or penalties with the number of times you've been summoned. So it, I, I'm not I'm not clear on that fact. Is that, it like that could hair, be the case. Braid, hair braiding or cutting hair without a license? You feel me? You not about to get slammed for that. Right, but I mean, you but know, it ain't. It's the inconvenience it's it your cheese too. It's still an issue. It ain't it's still an issue. It's yeah. your cheese. It's cheese. It's an issue. It's the difference between yeah being a barber and a hairstyle, or just you know you cut hair, you do hair. But then at the but same you know time, you get slammed it, for that. But it may, it may not impact your ability to pursue those licenses but that's or fine. pursue those credentials. I ain't about to get slammed. Well, yeah, all right. That's basically the leave niggas alone strategy. Then you got legalization, and that's the take it away from nigga strategy. Because once you legalize it, then you're going to tell the same nigga who got slammed for having gummies in the French Quarter, he can't have the permit to open the gummy store in the French Quarter or in the East because he got slammed for fucking gummies. So like I said, 
the same industry. But you gonna give it to some the same shit you gonna that give it to somebody else is now who went to the treatment for opioid abuse because it was a problem. Man, so let's, please. Let's, let's avoid the opioid crisis conversation. Man, we not about to avoid shit. Yeah, that's not. Because like that's, you say, it's the that. same shit. Yeah. It's the same shit. Now, where I think, I don't know, and again, text me, tweet me, whatever, where I think everybody can find, and I think, you know, I think we can all agree that white man shit, but fuck it. Where I think we can agree is the violence, right? All right. It's just, I understand where it's coming from, both on a micro level, you know, niggas hustling, frustrated, like they living on all this stress and trauma and pressure, like shit bubble over. On a macro level, when you're talking about like cartels beefing, or like niggas fighting for street, they have no other legal recourse to resolve those matters. All right. You can't go lease a corner store to flip birds. Right. You can't do that. All right. That makes sense. Me? That makes sense. <clears throat> and, like, and the people keep hating on you for doing it, like somebody ratting on you and the people, that nigga might get, he might get shot because it's real time on the line. You feel me? Okay. So, <clears throat> but for the, the, the criminality and the lack of legal recourse and environment, in the drug game. I mean, you got the violence. So, <clears throat> but I don't think, I think we can all agree, like, the violence is the L. So what do we do about that? I mean, I don't, I don't think you could, you can't really separate the two, honestly. I don't think you can either. You, I mean, you, so. So it's, it's, it's not a, it's not a <clears throat> one or the other strategy. You know? Like, how you handle that, though? Well, I mean, Which, so so I, I I don't think that all of the violence <coughs> is strictly due to, you know, people hustling and like that's not that's not what all the no. violence is due to. So, you know, you 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 got to have people who could really understand, you know, the 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 needs of the people in the street because uh, you know some of these young brothers ain't been exposed to some of the same things that you and I have been exposed to, right? So their ability to think about what's possible and what can be in their world, like it's really constricted, you know what I mean? So your strategy got to be one that helps to, to expand their minds to what's possible, but you also got to be changing the mindsets of the community because they got to they gotta support these young brothers as they make personal <coughs> behavior change. So, you know, it's, it's, it's not an easy strategy. That's why I don't think it's, it's ever been pulled off. <coughs> but, um, you know, we got we to gotta be intentional about this shit. Cause it's that it, it's not it's not going to stop if we just sit back and just you know let it continue to go the way it is. But my thing is, they say, oh, they, they you know we need more jobs for the kids. They got jobs. Nah, but see that, but that's not that. You just made their job see, illegal. But jobs, see, but okay, so jobs to me is that's a a a, a scapegoat because yeah. you can you can you can cover a whole bunch of shit and say they don't have jobs. And that that puts the responsibility outside. That puts the responsibility outside of you. Like what the what 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 the hell do you bring to the table to make options choices available for these young brothers to get out of the lifestyle at the end? And you can't come to the table just asking them to remove themselves from that space with nothing to put in their hands to replace it. So you know. Unfortunately, this is the life that a lot of these young brothers live. And in order to get them out of that space, you got to have some shit that's meaningful, tangible to, to be able to replace what they got going on right now. So I'm looking at it, full-throated American capitalism free enterprise. They got jobs. We just, as a country, and when I say we, y'all know who I'm talking about, decided as a country that the jobs that they have right now are illegal. Period. Now you, it's like where do we want to draw the line? Simple possession, okay, let that slide. Breaking and entering, robbing a business, carjacking. They ain't doing it for fun. All free. So, yes, I get you to some extent. You know, 
with what options are we presenting them that's viable, which is a serious conversation. Because when I look around, they have three jobs in New Orleans. You can work at a hotel. Work at a restaurant. A restaurant, or you get hit by an 18-wheeler. That's it. That's it. That's all I see me advertise on TV. And the restaurants ain't really popping no more either. What industry popping like that in the NO? You can say what the you streets. want. About transportation the streets. Transportation. Logistics. And that's the industry that's popping that, in the NO. The Medicare. streets. Nah, that shit see. ain't for them. The streets. Because the streets don't that's need the streets popping. don't need no resume. The streets don't need no reference. And the people that come to this city. And they always hiring. They come in looking for looseness. They're not, they not coming for widgets and gadgets. We don't have that shit anyway. Yeah. They're not coming for that. We got food, music, and... Entertainment, broadly defined. <laughs> Vice. Also, right. I mean, yeah. it's real. Right. So, it's like, you know, who the fuck is you to tell them they shit is illegal? And again, I think where, where, where I'm going to say was personal to me and shit that, you know, it's just the violence. But I think it come down to criminalizing, you know, the behavior, and then you resort to being criminalized and having to handle things as a criminal. Again, this dude was selling, this dude right here, but if that's, selling gummies but they, or bourbon. But that they, shit about to be, somebody about to have a if store that's all you in know, a month. If that's all you know, you ain't, you can't, Tell that person that that's criminalized. Exactly. Like that's, no. But that's all they know. You, in fact, telling them that we just don't want you making money off of it. That's the point because that I'm making. I, that's what store, I said from the beginning. The store opening, I'm telling you, give it six months, they having a store on bourbon, full-blown looseness doja. Six months. Period. All I'm saying is... There are brothers still locked up for simple possession, small amounts of marijuana. Brothers locked away. Yeah. Brothers' futures destroyed. Brothers got charges. And then you got people with the exact same substance, like they multimillionaires. They got two and three chains, two and three uh, franchises of their, uh, of their marijuana CBD business. Like, man, come on, man. Like, and, and it, it, it matters not to, like, it's cool. That's just how things supposed to go yeah. in this country. We're just supposed to, you know, be chill about it. So, to me, I'm thinking if, if you pass legislation that's intended to decriminalize this substance, then if you really want to make an impact, then you got to go some, you got to go retroactive. You got to look at the people who, Period. all right, so, so, so what is the, what is the, 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 the threshold at which this becomes no longer a de decriminalized offense. So everybody who's been locked up for any volume in between that, we should automatically be saying, you know what? Get out. Go on. Hi. Go on. Go back, to, go back to your family. Go back to your community. Go back to your children. Go back to the people who know, love, and been missing your ass. And that's here's the permit to open the shop. Right. You get the permit. You first in line. But, but see... It, it, would, it would ask too much. You of, are early look, entry into this industry. It would ask too much. You get the permit. It would ask too much of America to, one, have these brothers out, and then, two, give them the permit to get it them into the game. It would be asking Man. too much. Man, Dave. Okay. That's Dave, why Dave, I guess I call Barack a Dave, hope. Dave, Dave. So if So if we draw Man. a pie chart Man. of people who would fit into that category, of course, we, what, what percentage of that pie chart you think look like me and you? Let's be, let's be real. See, let's be real. What percentage of that pie chart don't look like me or you? So that's what I'm saying. For the few who don't look like they, hey, look, y'all just go out to bend and y'all got the, the, the good go after suffer for the bad. Right? Y'all got to bear the witness and understand that there's no way in hell we're about to let all of these brothers who done had sent like simple marijuana possession charges to just wreck their life, bro. We like we're gonna let all of these brothers get home. And then we're going to give them the permit to get their game up? Oh, no. Oh, no. That'll never happen. Just like, like I said on the last show, all of us will be dead and gone before we will see another person that look anything like Barack in the White House. So that's whole status. We'll be good and dead and gone, all of us.
And so again, if people are having these conversations and feel this way, so it, it, it did come up, right? So I think it was NPR was doing a story on this is be this is a non-issue at the the national level. So neither the national Republicans or the national Democrats, I don't think the Democrats mention it on their platform. And I think I'm I'm not gonna say either way. Again, I'm open to being fact checked, but my I don't understanding think I heard is that it's just not even yeah, part of the conversation. Yeah, discussed it. At the national level. Right. And why do you think that is? Now, that, I think it's a settled issue at the federal level, as far as I'm concerned. But it's still a Schedule One situation. You That's think what I'm they saying. just kicked it down man, to it's the man, states? It's a, man, it's a settled issue, man. You think they just kicked it down to the states? We ain't giving no more money man, for man, weed. Man, don't talk to me about this shit, man. Don't talk to me about man, no weed. Don't talk to me about this shit. Yeah. Don't talk to me about this shit. We got fucking coronavirus. You know, it started with with Al, Al- Qaeda. It started with Al Qaeda. Once that start popping, oh, w, huh? once that start popping, yeah. you think a nigga was worried about two dimes for 15. What are you calling about this? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. At the federal level. So, so look, out. Dave, Dave. So yeah, you could so look, you out. could I'm be on Canal Street on this side, <laughs> blowing doja just decriminalized. You go into the French Quarter, blowing doja you get yeah. slammed. All right? It's the, the same city, all right? It's just one side of the street versus the other. At the federal level, <laughs> they don't give a bad it is a it, son. They don't give a bad. Are you so, dumb? Tr- p- play with us. So all right. But so give it a shot. So a foreseeable risk, I look, look, risk, huh? I right. look. So I look. So again, I, I I I just be doing random shit, you know. So when I was at re- most recently, I was just looking to say fuck it. I, how, how, you know, what if I enlist in the military and go be an FBI, right? Basically. Are you dumb? All right. They, you know, there's an age requirement, but there's one other thing that they, you know, behavior they would like to be not a thing. Right. And, okay. So back, back in the day, though, I was, I interviewed to be an intern at the CIA. It, well, CIA would see it, whatever. All right. So, I mean, I'm going through the, the screen and shit, you know. The test, nigga asked for uh, address, five, you know, buku, nigga, who you stayed with back in the gym, who you stayed around the corner the whole night, right? You do the psychological, you, you do the lie detector test. <laughs> Basically... You slam you know, you're a terrorist. Yeah, no, I don't tell you. You proceed for the government. You proud boy. No, I ain't do none of that, bro. No. Black Panther, no, that ain't me. Oh, this shit. is bad part of the situation. <laughs> you had to come with it, son. I, I might have partaken. Once you or realize twice. you had to come with it? I may or may not have uh, been held. One, two, three, four, five. But, you know, <laughs> all right. I, you know, but I don't really remember. Yeah, I don't. All right. <laughs> so. That's so bad, man, man. So. In the Constitution. They ain't going to come back with the, with the, <laughs> oh, the test was inconclusive. Let's do it again. Okay. Y'all will go, y'all will play it like oh, this. Oh, you dumb. You will play it like it. this. Inconclusive. <laughs> all right. <laughs> You haven't realized they hit you with an old baseline right quick. Sure, you haven't. They hit you with an old baseline. You sure you haven't? Just those couple of times. That's all we got. Just those couple of times. That's all we got. Well, you know. White lady, you know, because she been there for like, she do this, right? Yeah. Again, hit me with the inconclusive. Human behavior, son. Agent, come out and say we do this. Human behavior, people, baby. So, she was like, look. Between you and me, you know, people have come in here, said, you know, smoked a joint every day of my life, you know, up until yesterday. Right. But, you know, I get this job, I'm done with it. Yeah. Like, who the hell does this lady think she talking to? <laughs> who 
this lady. Right, she right. She trying to. She trying to mouthpiece you. Mouthpiece. She trying to mouthpiece you. Spit up out of it, son. That whatever she felt like was, was about to, was about to story, pop. It was not about to pop. The only thing I heard is slam. Yeah. You can you tell us a white boy that shit. Cause that was probably a white boy who tried that shit. Oh, man, man. You sell your was slam. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a pothead. Yeah. <laughs> I, I noticed. Yeah, that I, definitely I, wasn't in the code. Yeah, yeah that, yeah, that wasn't. Pothead, that wasn't even much in the playbook. You, know, you guys are recruiting. Not a fucking audible, none of that. No problem. I can, I can stop. Nah, coach. You think I'm about nope. to go in there? That was not on the play sheet. That was not on the play sheet. The CIA. Of all Nigga, people. I couldn't even bring a watch in the building. I couldn't even bring a thumb drive in the building, dog. You think I'm about to sit up there, tell the CIA. Just, just, just bear chest that shit. In like, 2001. All right. 2002. Yeah, I'll be blowing it down. Because shit, you yeah. In the district <laughs> on the regular. On the regular. Be crossing state lines to get the blab yeah, and everything. Nah, yeah, that's yeah, me. Yeah, man, uh-huh. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Easy to throw it Oh, DMV, look. In my ass, look. This nigga got, you know... Blue light, and nigga got the two for three. Yeah, but if you hired me, if you hired me, I'm done. That's it. Hey, baby, you got it. Hey, baby, are oh, you dumb? This woman really thought I'm about the to mouth, sit up The mouthpiece is about to work. Yeah, yeah the mouthpiece is about to work. Especially when you let me get out the way with the whole. It's inconclusive. And we gotta do that this mean again? I'm not about to get slammed yeah. for basically flat out so lying to you just right stay now. I'm, at. Just stay I'm gonna quit at. while I'm ahead. Stay, stay where I'm at. What? I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead. Is it conclusive? Hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry it didn't work maybe, out. Maybe, maybe next time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, y'all hire it next year. You know, I might try, but thank y'all. <laughs> get the fuck I appreciate out the opportunity. Get the fuck out of here. This woman trying to psych out King Beast. Are you dumb? Are you dumb, son? Oh, Come my on. God. Well, man, look, please. I bet you learned something from that. I ain't learned a goddamn thing. Yeah, I bet you learned something from shit. I ain't learned a, yes, learn a motherfucking thing. Yes, you did. It would confirm what I already knew. You you here. So you learned <laughs> something. You fucking right, you learned something. Knew. Well, yeah, your ass learned man, something. Shit. Please. Let you try that shit again. You went back? Fuck no. So you learned something. All right, so what the fuck I'm talking about? You didn't go back. All right, I thought so. I submitted to the background screen again. You didn't go back. Not that looseness. He's here. Yeah, I couldn't know. So that means. Yeah, I'm like, (laughs) man. That shit was crazy, though. This is, yeah. Yeah, Yeah. but that that, that is America's philosophy. Man. Right, so. But they believe that. Everybody, oh, it was just pot. He's a kid. He's a kid. Well, not no, kid. no, no, no. That that we don't we don't we don't get that allowance. But that's how yeah. they think. Like yeah, she we don't get that allowance. Recognize that that's not what it is for us. What it is for yeah, us. Yeah, it's not. That's your privilege. Yeah, that's not what it is for us. That's slam. That's city. that white boy who told you who like yeah okay when you told him that and he copped to it. That's y'all privilege. He probably felt like that don't have nothing to do he with probably me. felt like it was a load off his shoulders that Man. he got to release that. When this Shit. woman came back and that said ain't conclusive. Man, I'm sorry, didn't work. I'm look, I'm sorry. I'm out. Voice y'all. Yeah, time. man, sneeze. That must be the truth. I'm, I'm yeah, out of here. Be just, I'm out of here. Collect my nothing because see, everything you, is in the, the car. Yeah, you can Because I couldn't come in this bitch with nothing. nothing. Yeah, I'm out of here. What? Yeah, I'm out. What? Yeah, man. Well, psych. You know. Okay. So but, I, I because of Doja though, but but look, because of Doja, so we go back to speak on it. The seventies, when shit like you know parents had issues with edibles because they were marketed to kids, right? So yeah, shit like the the Buzz B Frisbee, which actually came with a pipe. What? The Frisbee came with a pipe. Oh no, I blew it. I got it. I got it. I understand. I understand. So I gotta get all, like. They had a better, game. There was a game. Image, Look, there's a board game called You're the Dealer. Oh, <laughs> Like, I don't understand. Like, I, I, as a parent, like, I mean, how, how else are you yeah, supposed to feel about that? You know what I'm saying? So that's the kind of shit that led to, look, 13-year-olds <laughs> bought $300 worth of paraphernalia, and the, the sellers didn't even question them. 
Yeah, that's so amazing. the parents, like, you know, they led the charge. You know, it was cheese involved. The parents felt like, you know, it was better for this thing to not move yeah. forward. And so decriminalization failed in the 1970s. That's loose. Been a black market issue since then. But now, you know, it's, it is a very healthy industry. People are making lots of money about it. You know, and it's, it seems to just keep missing our people, man. Like, you know, regardless of, regardless of your thoughts about marijuana, regardless, it doesn't matter. The industry, the system that took so much from our people, the marijuana complex that took so much from our people is now giving so much to the same people who stood by and watched us be locked up for it. No, like your, like your, your, right? your thoughts, like they facilitated. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. But your, and but your, call the police. Your thoughts. They got niggas smoking man. in the park. But your thoughts. Niggas in the park. But, but it wasn't. With that's what it was. Man. Wearing them. Fuck the map. Whip part. The prepositional phrase. Whip, whatever. It don't matter. Man, that don't matter. The, that part. That's the problem. So it, it, it wasn't your attitude towards marijuana well, no, because now you're, 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 the, you're, the, you're the leading advocate for legalization, not criminalization. You think this ain't far enough. We haven't gone far enough, right? That's what you standing up fighting for. But the very same people, where would their voices add into the, 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 the chorus of people who were crying about the, the, the depth of absence and, and missingness and father absence and, and the pillars being removed from our community? Like, that shit's been going on forever. Like, no, no, no reparations for that. No trying to repair those people. No trying to no trying to make them whole. Like who said that industry making so much fucking money, man? They could, they could shell out money to the brothers and sisters who've been affected by this. So shit. this is the over policing of it too, and this is where motherfuckers don't. But you I gotta have people to slay. You gotta get slammed. Let me call them out too. Let me call them out too because you brought up a, a, a good point. That wasn't their experience with drugs. Fuck no. So when they think about drugs, they think about. You know, Studio 54 and the club in Miami and South Beach and, oh, just throw the top back and let my hand be blowing. And, mm -hmm. oh, it's just that one time and, and we just dropped acid as a cool mm -hmm. free All kind of That's shit. That's their experience kind of with drugs. All kind of they shit. They drug dealer. They not going to buy that shit at, you know, ex some of them get to that point right. where they got addicted to it or they didn't fell off that much. But by and large, the casual middle class drug user, or certainly, I'm going I'm to put it out, I don't really know all white people, but fucking all white people, uh, they experience copping, you know, some doja or whatever drug of preference is not depicted on TV in a negative light. Right. Is always a party. Is right. cool. Is experience. Damn, like adventure. Like yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh huh. So they never connected. Like um, you know the the the, the first thought the is not the penalty. The, exactly. The first thought yeah. is not the penalty. But they they just thought that uh it was made to believe that it was oh niggas just using that shit more or they just more violent. No. It's the criminalizing of the behavior. If right. they would have had just as many police officers in them fucking clubs and in them neighborhoods they looking got, for that shit and slammed, fucking with people. They got slammed at the same rate. It's the same rate. Yeah. No. They would have been getting slammed more because there would have been plenty they, of business But they were over ignoring there. them going by they to watch us. There. Right. Right. If you would have split the police presence equally, equally. then it would have been the same. Right. And police, police the behavior as opposed to police the population. Oh! Those are two completely different conversations. Yeah. Two completely different conversations. Exactly. So when they try to, you know, separate the crime from the drugs and shit like that, again, they don't, their experience with drugs is much different. I, much different than mine. It's not, it's not rooted in it illegality. It it's not the, rooted the, the in new, illegality, bro. Yeah. That's what it is. But they associate ours with what they see A on the 10 o'clock. Absolute news. illegality. Exactly. Absolute illegality and immorality yeah. and anything else that's negative and yeah. uh, anti-social behavior. Yeah. That's the automatic thought for us, right? So, like I always say, I heard a brother explain once that he thinks about policy in terms of whether it's a, a mirror policy or a window policy. 
When you make this particular law, this statute, this ordinance, are you looking out of the window? So you thinking about whether, whether or not and how this impacts the people that you see when you're looking out the window? Or are you looking in the goddamn mirror? So that the shit that you do impacts who you see when you look in the mirror. And as far as I'm concerned, I don't think that this policy as currently constructed is doing enough to level the scales for the people who have been, like, stepped on and forgotten about for so long. Right. I mean, if we if we're going to say what's what's the threshold, like like what, an ounce or some shit like that. All right. So it's like, a, it's a ounce. I don't I don't a know what it is. I don't, I don't know what it is. I'm just saying for the sake of discussion, grams. for the sake of discussion. Grams. All right. So 14 grams. All right. Fine. Yeah. So so every brother who has been locked up with 14 or less immediately, we should, man, man, get him the license. The person who signed the policy should be going to the give cell like, the man, get him out. Look, look, get him give out. Give him the license. Man, get him out. So. I'm, I'm trying to get the step. I'm trying to get the first step. I'm trying to get these brothers out first. Then we can work on a license. I need them home with their children. Yeah. I need them home with their families. I need them home in a community coaching baseball, telling young brothers, look, don't do the shit I and did. And making that cheese. No, do but, the shit I did. Make this cheese. Because then, bro, they come and get this cheese. Dave, like, listen, man, listen. no, I don't think Dave, we should be telling I'm, people get out. No. You got you got to get brothers home first. Yes. You got to get brothers reestablished. But not to go work at nobody hotel, what? though. Get reestablished Dave, doing what? Dave, Dave, do you work at a hotel? No, that's what I'm saying. Do I work at a hotel? Get reestablished doing what? And what, again, we work. Whatever they want to do, but they they, they, they need I'm to be sorry. reestablished at home first, Dave. These, look, Dave, I'm talking about brothers who have been missing from their children. Brothers who have the missed thing. graduations and shit. That, that is your first, your foremost responsibility, bro. Get these brothers back into their family, and once they get settled, yeah. all that other shit... The the, the 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 flowers and the fruit gonna grow. Just let these brothers get their roots out at first. I don't think a my bad is enough. That's all I'm saying. Yes, I, I get you, but I'm saying the the, out. the first step gotta and, be get these brothers out. And my bad. So my bad ain't sufficient. That ain't that ain't sufficient. that's not sufficient. And I'm putting in the street. They should be first in line to get the license. Period. Point blank. I'm with Fuck that. What everybody talking about. Fuck with everybody talking with, about. The only thing I'm saying is... Because the first motherfucker... The line to get the license... Who pulled up... Is outside. So we got to get them well. There we go. We got to get them out first so they could get in the line to get so, the license. So, now, nah, real talk then. So, I'm going to be real. I didn't start smoking tobacco until after... Well, it was the same time. So is the allure to doja part of how people get hooked to tobacco? Because the first time I did it, it was rolled in a tobacco leaf. Mm -hmm. And then I smoked black and miles, quote unquote, mm -hmm. to boost my high. And I felt like, well, the other piece of it was I smoked that because I couldn't smoke doja in certain places. Certainly, that was a lot of it when I was younger. And then, I say about 2021 is when I just started hitting them Joes like every day. All right. I, I turned 40 on the 21st. So in about two, three weeks. So was Doja my gateway to tobacco and knowing all of the fucked up shit with tobacco, would you want to go ahead and throw Doja in the mix? Cause I don't really hear nobody talking about, you know, you get the, you get the, you know, tobacco and alcohol, they legalize that shit. Why not Doja? But I don't really, you know, some people hit them with the, why not everything, you know? So, do you want to throw the Doja on top of, you know, as a legal thing, another legal thing people can do that may turn them on to some severely out-of-pocket shit like smoking jokes? Hmm. I don't, I don't know, man, because I I mean it, I don't I don't think that's that's everybody's pat, you dig? Like, well, it you ain't know, every, it ain't gonna like be my, everybody. My, pat. my route, my route, it ain't gonna be everybody. Especially pat. like, like with tobacco, bro. Like, fuck, I like smoking cigars. But you know it what I'm ain't saying? gonna be everybody pat to stop at Doja either. 
That's what I'm saying. Some nigga hit that Doja, and then they and go then they and they want them pills. Yeah, see, I, ain't, I, I can't. I, I don't have. So I we can't got talk, uh, niggas I say can't Doja ain't a gateway that. drug. Is a gateway to a lifestyle. I'm gonna put that in the street. I don't feel like it's a gateway, like chemically, to other drugs. Like I don't think. Right. Agree. You get the that's Doja. A, that's, that's a choice. High, that's a choice. And, and then, then you want to be like, want, yeah, I need some cocaine. I like, need that. No. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. Yeah, that's foolishness. That's foolishness. A drug outside that's of foolish. Doja. Yeah, that's and foolish. And then tobacco and herb. Yeah, that's foolish. So that's that's dead. That's foolishness. But it is a gateway to a lifestyle. I could have asked for it at any point. But like the ex fading. Once I heard you could you could die just random off top the first time, like, no, that's all that's right. all, I'm not doing that. Um and then the the coke and I that that was just you know, this is your man, brain on man, drugs type like, shit. Never ain't but had no, never, ain't never, had no, never, never had no had fucking no, desire to that shit. Never, like, never, never no desire. Like, I mean, I can't even. I, I mean, I, I guess being a fucking like lightweight or some shit. Because when I smoke the right cigars, like I feel like you know, like when we go to camps and shit. You know what I'm saying? We out doing a little meet and greet shit. Like everybody smoking cigars. Yeah, like, shot. A, like a stogie yeah, cigar. Fucking like right. actual, yeah, fucking yeah, right. Yeah, man. Okay. I'm like, I'm like, I'm nice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Instead of you be the Sat it in the little, well, I don't really fuck with, I don't fuck with alcohol, so I mean, I don't really do the cognac thing no more. Yeah. When you used to sit it in the cognac, you know what I'm saying, you get a nice little buzz from that shit. Yeah. To me, I, I don't see how that could make you want to sniff some shit up your nose or go to pop your veins, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I can't make that jump. I don't, I don't. So the, the lifestyle piece, I'm, I'm going to go the same route you go with it being a gateway for some people. So... Cause I I feel like how you I have your some, environment is going to dictate it is yeah. so it's I have some experience with addiction is is part uh, physiological like a predisposition right. social kind of environmental right um, and I access really, is always an issue yeah. yeah so what I'm saying is if you again. Maybe that's not a, a real issue in places where it's fully legal now. Like some young cats gonna grow up only knowing about Doja like they know about beer, right? You gotta right. go to the store to get it. Right. Or you gotta, you know, yeah. ear hustle your it's not big, taboo. big cousin yeah, to no go buy it shit. for you. Yeah, yeah. No taboo shit. Yeah. You know, but I grew up, one, it was way more readily available than Alcohol. And that was in the N.O. Doja? Oh, yeah. That was a little there. But alcohol was free-flowing now, even for it's underage. Understood. That's part of the culture. But, but guess what? We had it. It yeah, was, let's, it was let's, out let's, here. Let's, but with Doja, you knew it wasn't you no know, go to the store. You knew you was dealing with... An illegal process. A, and a potential slam situation. Like I said, so their yeah. experience is to not think about the yeah. penalty. That's not the... So your first thought, damn it, every time yeah. you came, was like slam. the slam. Yeah. That's the first thought, regardless of what you're doing, where yeah. you're going, who you're with. The potential to be slammed is always the first thought. That experience is the slam is like once yeah. we about to get slammed, the potential of being slammed comes into reality. Yeah. That's the difference in the experience. And it's not even, a, it's like a joke. It's right. like for them, they just Because like it's just about, about who I need to call yeah. to make sure I get out of this. Now, I've had that experience too. It was a, it was a who you call situation, you know? Uh, but that, uh, that, it wasn't my, you know. But again, like you say, it's not really the experience with the illegality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And that is primarily our experience with it, which is why the behavior is such. I mean, I guess it's like it's understood that it's so taboo for us because the first thought is always the potential of being Islam, slammed. It's yeah. always the potential of being slammed. That's the first thought, damn near first, second, and third thought. But going back to what I was saying, so some little niggas are gonna come up not having it. Having so they that. won't even be exposed to that. Well, like, uh, you know, I got that coke too if you need it. Right. You feel me? Right. That's not about to happen when you go to Win Dixie to buy a beer. Right. You know, that won't happen when you go they to Walgreens to go in. cop some doja. They not about to be like, look, we got that fentanyl if you really bought it. Yeah. Like, that's not about to happen. Right. I don't know, son. I don't know. I, I mean, mean I, I, with, the, I think with the evidence I, is so mounted. I'm just going to say, so the, 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 the social attitude yeah. is, and I, I heard somebody say something about 
the difference between life in the, I think if I, if I heard him say this correctly, the 1860s to the, the 1760s to the 1820s versus the 1860s to the 1920s, the shift in the, the pace at which life progressed for people in that period, I think we are in one of those spaces now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where, where the, the distance that social attitudes are going oh, yeah. to travel, uh, by the time Saint get to be 20, yeah. like, this conversation might be like, y'all really was talking yeah, about Yeah, we like, went from, Z, dog, we went from, like, five to seven miles an hour to, like, I don't even think we had. 80 right now. I think we had a cool like 55, 55 60, 60 on the yeah, highway. Yeah, uh-huh. You feel me? Uh-huh. But if you just remember, you know, you, we the hose pipe generation, nigga. You know? Uh, that shit crazy. That be coaching down. I mean, that's a whole go off tangent. But yeah, these little niggas coming up. And we'll never see that. The, the, the falsity, I don't know if that's a word, dog. I heard, I'm going to just, I got to go off my man. I got to give a shout out to Perk because we try to keep it real. Oh, Big Perk. Big Perk. <laughs> Dad, so they was like, yeah. Well, he bust the bam out of the bayou. Shit. No, I, 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 he just put me down. So they was like, yeah, you know, you know, when they're giving all the haters. Like, he was talk, I think he was talking about him. Paul George or whatever. He got to go. He was like, man, you know, being on, you know, the show, now I got some, you know, experience with that. I got haters, yeah, you know, if yeah. you're going to do it. He was like, you know, when they come at me, I just, you know, I can only be me, you know, because, you big know, the perk. TV want Big Perk. The TV want the, what the, thing is, the authenticity. The, 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 what he was trying to say, authenticity. authenticity. The, it, it came out wrong every time. Boy, but that, he, fuck it. He ripped it. He perked it. And, and that's how that's I'm about to do it. That's what the TV want. Yeah, he said, you know the what you're going to get. The TV want this authenticity. Yeah, you know what you're going to get. <laughs> but, yeah. But the, the <laughs> myth. Of uh, Doja being on a level with fentanyl or alcohol right. or, you know, LSD or heroin I mean, or histo- whatever. Historically, it's the, been seen as a psychotic, facts. right? It's just, right. so it's more readily available facts, and I think there are more outlets who pushing makes law against. law and policy based off facts? More though, outlets pushing against propaganda. So the whole reefer madness and all of that, like that, they played that shit before every movie when nigga didn't have cable. So if you was going to the movie, you was going to see that shit, and you believe you. that lazy Mexicans high on reefer was going to yeah, rob you and yeah. fuck your leg. Like, right. You believe that shit. Right. And there was no counter-narrative. Now... The whole Unless you lived in the neighborhood where none man, of the niggas was around you and you didn't even... You like, wasn't even at the movie. the fuck? You wasn't at the movie. That's so, fuck. like... That's bullshit to but you. But the counter-narrative, that's everything that... Everything that exists now is a counter-narrative. Yeah, you make your own fucking exactly. narrative as soon as you put your phone yeah. up, man. Yeah. So there's so much more information. Shit, like man. you said, it, that's not everybody's path. They have so many more examples of... Different people's path, different people's engagement with certain different activities, mm-hmm. and people's positive and negative response. Not just like observing the shit, right. but actually watching these people, you know, deteriorate live on the, you know, you watch their Twitter feed or their yeah. Instagram shit, you can see it yeah. physically. They can feed, you know, talk about it directly. Now, you know, if they're in recovery or they relapsed or something right. like that. So that wasn't, you know, even our age. You had to, like, go to an AA meeting. Right. To even, like, Experience you had to know what, what AA was. was yeah. to begin with, right. Now right. the shit is everything, anything you into can be ubiquitous to your personal world. You can get lost in any topic that you want to... Shit, yeah. And, like, these young people, to their credit, are doing that. They don't do anything lightly. When they end, they end. You know, young, you know, when you're young, you're going to do stupid. So we can judge whatever they want, however, you know, our, whatever. You can feel however you want to about what they do. But how they go about it... This is... 
Yeah. Very consistent for you. I mean, Ain't that's how young people do shit, Ain't too much hustle gaming though. going on right. to young niggas. Right. They, don't even they really don't understand the yeah. game yet. So they... They they built like, but they building. They hustling us. Like they making, they literally making all of this up as they go along. So, like they way more on to the availability of knowledge and all of the hustles that's out there than before the internet light got turned on. Dog. So I think they have the access. I'm not, I, and I don't, I don't think. Yeah. Carte, carte blanche. Yeah. That, that young people are. So like I'm look I'm I I'm, I'm doing this summer camp shit. You know what I mean? Like I'm dealing with these young folks. Yeah. Like not you got the ones that's that's up on shit, but you got the yeah. ones that's like that's still kids, bro. Yo, like, no, so, I'm not saying that they're not kids. I'm saying a young person They not clear about what the game is. I, I get that. What I'm saying is I'm not talking about children. I'm talking about 18, 25, All right, well, that's, under yeah, that's 30. Different. Yeah, that's different. Yeah, that's different. As they mature, yeah, different. they have access to a lot more personal stories and information about. Oh, of course. You know, well, in a, a lot of cases, they, 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 they are the content creators. And, too. and how to build expertise. Yeah, they're the content creators. Yeah. yeah. They're not yeah. tied to formal structures Shit, or any no. kind of, no. you know, no. dictated information outlet. That is correct. That's they correct. could go find the information for them. So you're not about to tell them. Too many like they might not give a fuck about certain things right. or what you're telling them. Right. But you're not about to just lie to the they they just may choose to do They got a whole it. bunch of different sources yeah. that they about to check yeah. check your shit. And the they they ready for you to try to lie to them. Because they probably they already, already, wait probably already had the information that. when they came they to ask you blow just up they on you. verify. Yeah. Yeah. Well. So I think that's part of the reason the thinking on Doja, the the has evolved as well. And you got cats like us who grew up in that age who was like, oh, I could read a book. I could go to the website and see weed is not like heroin. And now people our age are parents of teenagers. Right. Nah. Right. So they, the tea that they see, their parents still blue. Right. Like, I know I can't go in my power room. You know, that's his. Yeah, that's, that's his room. His that's his room. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's, that's my power room. room. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he smoke his cigars right. in there. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that ain't your business. Yeah. Stay the child. Yeah, ain't your business. <laughs> so, of course, you're going to be seeing progress on these things, uh, man. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 we, like we said before, all politics is local. Yeah. Yeah. So, all politics is local. So, you know, we are in a region that has had a and very liberal attitude towards man, it. So, so I mm-hmm. was I was on the way in today, and I'm gonna give a shout out to my dogs in the Delta, Mississippi. They are the reason this region is moving forward with the Doja. They basically one, you know, they're gonna grow that Reggie. They about <laughs> to they about to just turn all that into because China shitting on them with the. They don't even need to grow no cotton no more. Yeah. It's all the dry fit span. They don't even need to do that no more. Yeah. They just Reggie. I'm telling you what's about to happen. Mississippi about to go off with that Reggie. Oh, Bobby Brown. What? Uh-huh. That Bush Heisman number five action. I'm telling you. That Reggie. They the about to have it popping. So I they didn't it. just yeah. neck it with it. Right. They just out you. <laughs> Hey, I'm telling you what the play is. You think they worry about dispensaries and all that? Wholesale. We got yeah, niggas to yeah, farm and yeah. everything already. Let's get this shit popping. Yeah. Let's get it popping. So, so that land. forced Louisiana and Alabama to do the shit. Because Florida, you know, Florida, gonna, you know, Florida don't they didn't shit. already prepped it. Yeah, they don't, they, they don't, selling they don't Reggie. They, yeah. What they call it in Florida? Delta 8. That's Reggie, man. You could go in the store right now. Right now. Ask them niggas for Delta 8. You open that shit. That shit Reggie. Full-blown Reggie on the shelves right now in Florida. Well, I mean. So they just, I, I, they wait, got what the you, infrastructure. What you want them to do? Ready. What you want them to do? The infrastructure they is They see there. a chance, they got to take Man, it. What you want them to do? These niggas. What you want them to do? Reggie. Uh, what you want them to do? They see a chance, they got to take it. And then it's like. I ain't tripping. Oh, it ain't Doja, but. I, we can't sell lighters where we sell. The, man, you know the fucking store that sold the Reggie can't sell lighters. 
That's fine. The gas station, dude. Yeah. The gas station right there. Right the across the street. <laughs> the gas station right at the corner. Right across the street. So they can't sell tobacco. They can't sell lighters. But they can sell red. But look at the skit, though. Yes. Look at the skit. Like he just hold. He just hold. The dude behind the counter gave me the game. He was like, man, the owner, he just holding it down, now. He just waiting on, you know, with his legal, we ready to go. All bust it wide other, open. All the we got a whole false wall shit. back here. This we going to knock that down. Shit. We got a trap door. These little seashells and wind chime. Man, that shit gone. We doja. Period. We ready. We ready. So, Louisiana, Alabama had to get a shake. So, who, get, so who getting... Who getting the cheese off that? I mean, you know who get the cheese in Mississippi. I just told you what they about I, to do. I, 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 I'm going to go, I'm gonna go back to my original the, premise. The cotton. Yes. To my, go back to my original premise. The Mississippi how come the people? Is, how come the people who have dispropor- like, like egregiously disproportionately bear the brunt of all of the legal yeah. ramifications of yeah. being involved with marijuana versus who are the people who are disproportionately reaping all of the benefits lucratively the monetary benefits of this shit while still, okay, so we'll decriminalize it because we done made enough money. We'll at least stop sending y'all to jail. We'll just make y'all pay us a little summons. You know, so it's, it's, it is still, man. It's, and you know who not saying shit about that? Well, well, he ain't saying shit about nothing. I'm Period. Just, you know, I'm, just, yeah. Period. I'm talking writ large, the blue team, y'all some hoes. Y'all some hoes. The red team has made it clear. They don't give a fuck about Niggas money. in jail. Period. Yeah. No voting. Tax cuts. Jail. And tax cuts. White people country. Tax period. Cuts and tax cuts. They have made this clear. If you're not white or white adjacent, we're not, this we're ain't not concerned for about you. you. This ain't for you. Which goes back to my previous premise that at some point, there has to be someone to really represent the interests of regular, everyday black people. And I don't want to hear the shit about we can't expect somebody to I'm just running. be focused on because they do it Look, all. That is what politics is. Well, I got it, I got it down to one and a half Joes. That's what the skit is. One and a half Joes. I said That's I the skit. probably had to stop smoking. That's the skit. If I'm a run. So, and I said something, I had to stop using, nigga, but that ain't probably going to happen. Well. So I got it down. As long as. One and a half. I finished the one, y'all saw me, and I had. As long as you have one. your ironclad non-negotiables as it relates to what your people need to see happen to change their day-to-day life. That's all I want to see. Just don't. Don't compromise your shit because. It's, you the know. cheese. Yeah. It's that, that's it. Don't compromise that's it. your no, shit, it's the bro. cheese. That's all I just, just don't compromise It's the cheese. Shit, when it's 30 people in the room Bottom and you tell them the what matters to you it's is what cheese. matters to them, when you get in front of the room of 5,000, 500,000 people, don't forget about them 30 people, So maybe man. I just need to admit, yeah. Don't forget about them 30 people, man. Put, out. it's all different kind of strategies, and I'm thinking, you know, like you said, all politics is local. So maybe... You know, not a white man might not be the strategy. You know, maybe we look at, you know, you look at the, the parties in your area and make sure you get not one of the two main parties. Somebody, a third, on to the runoff. Right. Just get them to the runoff. Yeah. So if you, make, if, you, if, you get, if you can get the, 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 the populace, to back a non-traditional Period. or a non-party linked just candidate. Just get them to the runoff. Just throw the wrench, just throw the, yeah. the wrench in the system and see what r- happens. Put the ball in place. Just play, make them up. have to do That's something different. That's why I tell different. my little league team. Make them do something different. Shit, we got two strikes. I don't care what your swing look like. We ain't got no strikes on you. One strike, you can go ahead and do whatever you want. Two strikes on you, we gotta be serious. Mm-hmm. We have to make sure. Just put the ball in, in play. play. Put it in play. Yeah. Let's just put it in play. Yeah. I'm with it. That's definitely a, 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 a I think an approach that's sustainable. Shit. Because once 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 you get the system off its kilter, me, yeah. it, it 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 it's gonna be hard for him to recover. 
and then you you just bust a door open, and then the people who belong at the table. And then the- I who've, been, who've been systematically excluded from the room. They gonna show they you get they the popu- true colors. They get to populate the table. They gonna show you they true. Because if you get one person that's not in either party in that runoff, you are gonna see how quickly those two major parties coalesce around that remaining candidate. Have to, to keep that person. Yeah. Absolutely. So that should let you know everything you need to know about these major party but politicians. It's still one man, one vote. So like we said, top to bottom. As long as, as long as your machine is to the point where you can activate people to come man. out and vote and do what 44 did, but then actually put that Just, mandate to use. Man, get on the ballot. That's the first step. Get on the ballot. If you bout it, get on the ballot. First step. If you put yourself on the ballot, call us. You can come on the show. So we please, can run it. Please. We can run it. Please. I don't care if you run it. You know, school board, water authority. Man, make a difference in the lives of the people. Whatever you run in your for, community, man. Pay, look, make a difference in the lives of the people you in your can community. Go old school, you know, go get your signatures and file. You can, you know, pay your cheese, whatever. Get on the ballot. If you get on the ballot, come on the show. We can run it. Yes. You know, we 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 could collab on making sure it get bubbled to your Potential constituency and all of that, cause we something got to shake. But when you come, bring your platform and make sure, nah, make sure, man, bring your platform and make sure that you are clear about how you are going to keep yourself accountable to the people who send your ass to that elected office. Man, come ready to go off. Man, get, make sure you can clearly stipulate. How you are going to remain accountable to the... I don't want to hear no, well, we're going to talk. I don't want to hear that shit. Come ready to talk about how you are going to hold yourself accountable by the things that the people who sent your ass to office, what they need. You, now, I, I want to hear that. I want to hear you spell it out. Here. Spell it out. That's what's Spit going it out, man. Say it with your chest. I will moderate that conversation, and you and, you and Greg can... You know, the ground rules of the grove have been established. I will simply say... The people got to send you here. Nigga know me. People got to send you here. I'm going to just say. I'm a servant of the people. So. Nigga know me. You not about to just tell me anything ever. And and you definitely not about to come on this show and tell me anything. So I don't don't care what the platform is. If your statements don't include the needs and wants of the people in everything that you say, then that. That 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 draws some question for me. That's, I mean, that draws some question for me like because the, because your job is to be an elected representative, so you got to represent the interests and the well-beings of the people. So if you're not ready to clearly stipulate how you how you value the accountability that these people are going to hold you to and how you're going to make sure you stand up, then that's a hey, you're, that's a waste of time. You just you sounding you sound love the forty fours to me. <laughs> 